Okay, let's get a shot. This is Quirky Princess here. I know I haven't had a video in a while because I really haven't been up to it, but I feel like sharing. So I've really, really struggled with a wellness planner. I know I need one. I think a wellness planner would do me a world of good, but I really struggled with it. I tried, you know, the wellness planner the hat planner came out with. I tried printables off Etsy and nothing seemed to work, but I think I got it now. So I'm going to show you what I got and lead up to you, you what you think of it. So I saw a planner and it just screamed at me wellness. That's why I have this cover because it's from a 2020 planner that screamed wellness at me. So that's why I have that cover and I think that works perfectly. I put a little envelope here, a little pouch thingy, and then it started like a new, any normal mini planner, right? Because it's still going to be a mini planner. I put this in the back of here. This one comes with me from planner to planner. So I switched it there. And it's Halloween, so that, anyways. The reason for this, actually, I'm going to show you what's inside here because it's important for what I'm doing. So, my exercise is swimming. So, I have these printables that I cut out with my Cricut. And they stay in here because they are going to be used for tracking my swimming. So, that's what I have in there. Okay. Then, I got this really cheap, so I added, I added these little things you can add to them because I wanted to add the, the one there. <sighs> Cookie recipe doesn't matter. Anyways, now this part here is just my, you know, your typical dashboard planner. So you know what's going on in life, you know, what's going on in the world. Because that's, that's my mini planner, right? Then I jump to my monthlies. Now that is where I'm tracking my swimming, see? And then... I was going to do a little peek, peek of this. This is my next part of it. I got actually mark in here that I did exercise today. I went swimming. But so that's what I've got for that. I'm losing the middle here, sorry. So I moved. So I have like, I, this, is, this one is exercise. I have back exercise I'm trying to start doing. Try to help with strengthen my back. Because my back is, I have bad pain in my back. Anyway, so that's that. Then on here, I have like my to-dos. Simple to-dos. Um primarily ones are going to be on there. So let's try to get those back stitches done. Try and do them. And going swimming. Um, I'll add a little extra things on here, but the main primary ones are the back stitches and swimming because those are what I need to do to strengthen my back and to lose lose weight. Can I need to lose weight? So that's that. Now, the next section is... I pulled out... I bought myself a 2020 uh, mini. I did not buy this kind of mini... Typical mini mini... Ah, this kind of mini for 2019 because I didn't feel like I needed one. I just felt like I had the dashboard. That's what I was using. Didn't need your typical mini. But I'm not going to show you the picture, but I have bought this so I can do journaling. Just a little bit of journal. I'm not going to show you what it says, it says on it, but just a quick... Whoop, whoop, see? Like I said, you can't read it, but it's just journaling. And that's what this is for. So I can express my feelings. And I think it's it's doing good. I'm reading it every day, actually, which surprised me. Because I tried the journaling books, like the guided journals from, from Mambi, and I just couldn't keep up with them. It didn't, I don't know, they just didn't do it for me. But this is doing good, and it's not like it has a huge gap, right, amount. If I find this isn't, gonna, this isn't working, maybe next for 2021, I'll buy the classic size like this. But... I think this is good. This is a good size. It's good for carrying around. So let's say I'm on vacation or I have, whatever, I'm on the go and I feel like I need to have some planning, some writing. I mean, I have this. So then next section I go to is going to be my expenses. Because that's got to be in my mini. Because it's going to be, I don't think it'd be as I go around or what I'm going to use it for exactly. Because I have a skinny planner coming. And I love the skinny for on the go. So I'll go from there. I'll decide what to do from there. But anyways, yeah, my... That's that. And of course, little thing here to hold the stickers. The grocery list, which I'm gonna, like I said, I'm, this part here is empty because it's going to be used for journaling. Let's say I have a day where I'm really upset and I need to do some extra journaling. I have paper back here. And the primary purpose for this paper is for journaling. So if I need to write more than just a little bit, of, the little bit of area I've got there, I can take out one of these papers and just start writing. And that will go right here. So this is my journal area. My excess journal area. 
And then I got some of this cake because I'm going to drawing. But this basically, this is what I've done. I'm finding so far it's working really well. And I'm going to continue it for the, rest of, for, for the rest of this year at least. And we'll see how it goes into 2020. But yeah, that's what I got. I bought, I already got my 2020 store set up for six months. But I figured the reason I'm having the this part here in the front, in the case I decide to have it as my go-to planner, you know, my out, out of the house running around planner, or if I have to start going to the office again, I doubt that, but you never know, it could happen. But anyways, yeah, so that's what I have there. Anyways, I hope this helped you in case you're looking for ideas. And have a fantabulous day. Stay awesome.